Welcome to The Music Educator. My name is Bill Stevens, and here we focus on the tips and tricks for music educators, students of music, and lovers of music just like you. Hmm. I've got to admit, that is kind of refreshing. Thank you for watching. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Today we're going to talk about working with a faculty and staff so that your interactions are positive and meaningful. Let's get to it. When you come to a new school, you want to get your questions answered efficiently. You want to go straight to the source and avoid any frustration that might take place if you have to be redirected two or three times. To do this, you need to know what you're asking. So let's start with some of the most important things when you start at a new school. Let's start with scheduling. Now scheduling can have a number of people involved. How many people know the truth? Often your assistant principal will know what you're teaching, but other people you can directly go to are your department lead, your assistant principal, and your counseling center. Remember, don't try this at home, kids. I am a professional. Now, no, you may not have the luxury of knowing your full schedule. Some people are lucky and know exactly when and where they're going to be teaching. But other music teachers in particular may be moving rooms, may be teaching at different schools. So you want to be patient. There are times when sometimes you don't even know what you're teaching until maybe the week before school even starts. So go directly to them. If they say you have to wait, wait. Keep in touch with your department lead and they will let you know what you need to know in the most prioritized fashion. On the flip side, you also need to have your calendar for the school events and the calendar for your music performance events. I'll check my calendar, thank you. So where do you really go? Well, let's start from the big picture. Big picture, we have the school events. So you need to know when back to school night is and certain mandatory sessions. And this could also include things like staff meetings and different uh, professional development. Regarding your program, if the teacher was really organized from the year before, they would have already made the primary calendar and then you can make subtle adjustments as appropriate. But in the case that a calendar wasn't made for your concerts, Try to keep things relatively close. Don't change too much, but get creative. Think about when everything happens and maybe even check with your district or um, your region for when those events are happening so you don't have any crossovers. Also to think about when you're actually putting your calendar together is a lot of times students that are in music programs have siblings that are in music programs within the district or division. Be sure that your concert has a designated day or perhaps a time when no other concerts within the district are being held. So to recap, where do you need to go to find out about your calendars? Well, if it has to do with your school, focus on your AP. If it's your program's calendar, ask your department head. And if it deals with your district region events, talk to your district rep. Oh, well, that's very smart. So now, where do you go if you need to find out about your leave? Well, you have different kinds of leave. You have sick leave, you have activity leave, and you also have personal leave, one of my favorites. Many returning staff and faculty will know the answer to this question. Spread out your questions so that you can also utilize your mentor. Generally, new teachers will have a mentor, and that mentor is there to help out the new teacher. Now, they may not know everything about what you're doing, and they may not actually even teach the same thing you do but they have the connections to find out what you need to know. Now let's talk about one of my favorite topics, field trips. What do you do? Who do you speak to? Well, field trips are often two part. One, you have to get an approval to go on field trips. They can be approved by all kinds of people, parents, other directors, yourself, you do try to do a spring trip, but they have to get approved by your principal. I'll see if I can find the boss. So you're gonna to have to get either your assistant principals or your principal's approval and then you're gonna to have to get transportation. In some school districts, you actually have to pay to have school buses take you on field trips, where other systems will actually pay for it as part of the expectation. Now, if you're going on a big trip, you might wanna consider using charter buses. And if you're in a more high profile situation, you consider flying. Too bad we don't have a broom. Yeah, I love flying. Now we talked about getting approval from your principal. You also need to get approval from your parents, such as in permission slips. And you also have to get approval to use buses or some sort of transportation. To do this, you'll often have to correspond with one of the school secretaries 
and the head of transportation to make these arrangements. And our last broad topic deals with work orders. Now, these can be physical work orders where someone has to fix something in a room, or they can also deal with technology in terms of software or hardware. The modern practice is that there is some kind of form that you can fill out and it will send a report to someone like an ITTS or someone else that is in charge of maintenance or um, just general care. Now, there are certain things your custodians are great at doing. But remember, if it's something that has to deal physically with the room, like the building itself, rather than just cleaning up, you're going to need to probably have district employees work on that. If it's something related to software not working or your computer's broken, then there's some kind of technology work order. And those questions can generally be addressed and fixed by doing these technology work orders or general work orders. It's kind of a convenient end note. To quickly recap, getting to know the right faculty and staff to answer the questions that you need answered, check out everybody that includes your mentor, your department lead, your assistant principal, your principal, your principal secretary, and your department of transportation. If you found value in today's video, feel free to like and smash that subscribe button. I loved having you guys, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.